And tonight, in a story you'll only see here on KSNT News, it's a cry for help from a Kansas family kicked out of a local school district. And KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung explains why. The family lives in one school district, but for years has been attending school in a neighboring school district. But after a tumultuous year, they say they've been told they're no longer welcome. Isaac is a football player in his senior year at Santa Fe Trail High School. Like most players, he says he's enjoyed the bond he's built with coaches and his team. We're like brothers to each other. It'd be hard to leave that kind of a family. But now he may have to. The local school board is denying Isaac and his siblings a waiver to transfer this year, which means they may have to find a school in another district. I wouldn't be able to play football, and none of our siblings would have that same connection with any of the coaches that we've been familiar with for our entire lives. The reason we were given for their denial was that we, the parents, disagree with their policies. Melissa and Lance Kasky, Isaac's parents, say they were shocked by the district's decision since some of their kids have been attending school in the Santa Fe Trail District since they were in elementary. One has special learning needs and enjoys the hands-on environment. The other is a student athlete just on the cusp of graduating. Now the parents say a string of events may have pushed the school district's superintendent, Jim Lentz, over the edge. That includes a protest their children participated in last year where students across the district staged a walkout over disagreements in teachers teaching style after a computer learning program was put in place. At the time, petitions circulated online to remove Lentz from his position. Now the Caskies claim he's upset and taking it out on their kids. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's trying to take away their voice. In Kansas, local school board officials have the power to decide whether students are allowed to transfer to another school district, each being allowed to create their own set of rules. There are some that do not allow any uh, students to transfer in for other districts it would be more, I think, a matter of saying we think the board acted in a discriminatory way. But the Kasky family says it shouldn't have to be this way, and they're calling it an attack on their rights. Was their opposition to his policies, does that warrant destroying a future? And the Kasky family is calling on people for support to keep their kids in school. Right now, a local school board hearing is scheduled for this Wednesday in the Santa Fe Trail District. At the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated on the school board hearing. If you want to be the first to know about updates and developing stories just like this one, just download our KSNT News app. It is free wherever you get your apps, and you can sign up to get breaking news alerts sent straight to your phone.